Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to a 1998 Weinbach W190. Now this piano measures six foot four inches from the very front to the very back, making it a grand piano. And if you haven't heard of Weinbach, here's what I can tell you about Weinbach. Weinbach pianos are handmade uh, high-end European pianos. Weinbach is actually Petrov's second tier down. So a lot of these uh, higher-end manufacturing company or manufacturers like Steinway, um, Schimmel. Uh, companies like that, Beckstein, they'll have second tiers of their pianos and even sometimes third tiers that make them a little bit more affordable. And this is Petroff's second tier. The difference is most of the time when these companies do this, for Steinway for example, Steinway has Boston right below Steinway. So they have Steinway, Boston, Essex. Well, the Bostons are made by Kauai. I think they're actually being made by Samick now. Um, and the Essex are made by Pearl River. So Steinway designs these pianos, but they have other people make them. This is a Petroff made piano. So Petroff makes these pianos themselves and they just make them a little bit cheaper so that people can afford them. They're a little bit like Petroff stripped down a little bit. Um, but in I think around 2005, um, another company started making Petroff pianos in China. And there was a big lawsuit, and um, I don't really know how it ended, but just know that after 2005, there is definitely a lot of Petrovs out there that were made in China that did not have any of the Petrov DNA from the Czech Republic. Um, these were handmade in the Czech Republic, making them a handmade piano. Now, this particular one we got from a home in Southern California, and it did experience a little bit of bleaching. So if you've ever seen a piano that bleaches, you know that it does it usually pretty evenly, and you can't really tell unless you walk all the way around the piano. So this one kind of got a little bit of bleaching right here. You can check that out in the pictures, um, but really it's, it's kind of done evenly, so you, you don't really notice it. This piano did have a couple um, dings in it, some chips in it. There's a couple right here that we've repaired, but you can see them if you go looking for them. It's totally smooth, but you can kind of tell that something's been done there. And then there's a chip um, on the lid, on the back of the lid, and then it's on a flat part, so we put some color in there, but it, you'll still see that damage as well. So. Other than that, we buffed out the whole cabinet, got all the surface scratches out, buffed all the hardware as well. So I would probably give this thing a B rating uh, finish wise. It's a really clean, nice looking piano. There's no cracks on the soundboard, bridge, or pin block. This thing's got at least another 30 years of good life. And what's really, really cool about this, I don't know of another piano in this price range that you can get with a full Renner action, a German action. This has a full Renner action in this thing. And as you heard, it sounds so sweet and it plays even better. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.